This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. We are a charter school, so we have a population of about 400 students. Uh, the majority of the students uh, who attend our school are uh, bilingual, and they're also um, English language learners. Um, many of them come from single families, from um, um, economically disadvantaged uh, homes, and um, some of them haven't had an opportunity to um, to see what's what's you know out there beyond high school. So. Uh, one of my goals at, as a teacher, as a science teacher for them is to expose them to uh, the possibilities that are out there beyond high school uh, in, in a science career. The idea of a computer simulation at the atomic level is something that is very uh, sort of very intuitive. Uh, so I, I wrote this program, MD++ program, uh, when I was a graduate student doing the simulation. So I thought, you know, simulation should be fun. We talk about, you know, all the materials are made of atoms, and atoms move in a certain way, and the higher the temperature is, the faster they move, and all that. Uh, but that can be, that is actually an exact statement. You can actually, uh, you know, through a computer simulation, you can actually do that and see what happens at the atomic level. Uh, so, so I think uh, that is a, a you know could be uh, sort of used to help high school students. And then at that point, uh, uh, through the outreach office at Stanford, I was you know, connected with uh, Alfonso Garcia, and and Alfonso really liked this idea, so we started work on this together for several years, and, and we're really happy about this. My goal with this. Um with teaching the students, you know how to do simulations is that one is that they will they will start learning the Linux uh, um, commands. By the time they get to the university, they have an interest in pursuing a career in science. They are already familiar with the you know the the, the basic commands that you use in Linux or Unix, uh, which are very similar. Um, and also they have a you know a very elementary background in in doing computer simulations because uh, I think that's that's a great way to go about studying the interactions of molecules. I think it, they, they find it very exciting that you know that you can do all these uh, uh, simulations and see how these, uh, these, these molecules interact with each other. I think it's you know it's uh, it catches their eye because uh, the, the students that we get nowadays you know in the high schools a lot of these students you know they, they, they've been growing up with you know internet, video games, uh, cell phones, so they're already they already have the technology. You just need the need to apply it to um, to, to science. Okay, this summer uh, right now, actually, I'm working on uh, adding uh, implementing a potential that is not in the uh, in in the code that Professor Sai um, has already. And this potential will allow you to simulate um, molecules that are you know uh, purely made out of carbon, like you know the car the buckyballs. Uh, Carbon nanotubes, and also you can you can you can simulate hydro, hydrocarbon uh, molecules. Uh, Mr. Garcia, um, he joined this uh, summer program and started using this MD plus plus. And basically, I and he and I actually interactively work together. Uh, and he basically comes up with a certain questions to use the MD plus plus, and I just answered them and. and help him to solve the technical issues. He recently um, working on the, the carbon buckyball simulations. Re re he read uh, several papers, and, and then he comes up with idea with interaction with carbon buckyball, lot, lots of carbon buckyballs, and, and also interaction with uh, some graphene sheet. And that's actually, I never uh, thought about it. And, and I like his idea very much, yeah. So there seem to be a whole a, a number of things come together in this project that seem to motivate students quite well. The the fact that uh, the, they, they get to play with the computers, uh, and in fact uh, they're also uh, linking with their curriculum. That that basically there's a natural connection between the computer science kind of things that they want to teach, and also the physics, and, and maybe even a little bit of math uh, and, and chemistry in there. So, I, so I, that's why I find this uh, collaboration unique.
The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.